Hey. Well, this is about the only party trick I got. The rear facing child seats. So, uh, you know what that means. We're off to Katie's and, um, well, it is, it is the first Katie's of November. It's November 2nd and it's, uh, it's 31 degrees outside. So I'm thinking this may finally be the cars and coffee. That's kind of like the end of the season. Um, curious to see how many people are there, but I guess we'll figure it out soon. If I look tired, it's cause I am tired, but we are heading out at 634. Hopefully we'll be there by seven. It's still obviously pitch black outside. Uh, yeah. So. Let's roll. Wait for it. A little bit of tire spin there. All right, not too shabby. Extremely dark outside. All right, we're working with 37 degrees outside. Not bad, but uh, pretty chilly. Clearly, there's you know nobody here. There's you know Mustangs over there, and but tons of open spaces. And it's 7:03. I mean, typically this place fills in by like 6 6:30 in the middle of you know prime time summer. So it's definitely trailing off. I'll be curious to see how the main stretch looks, but let's go see if we can see anything. Unfortunately, you can't really take video because the GoPro is terrible in dark light. So there's gonna be really no video for the next what half hour until the sun comes up. But uh, I guess we can just scope it out and see what we can see. So let's go, let's go spot some cars. Dang, it's too dark. But we got a 458 Speciale Huracan Performante Spider and the 600 LT. Trying to see the Performante Speciale. You can see the striping, but it's still pretty dark. So we'll be back. We got all the DeLoreans lined up with their lights on. This one's pretty sweet with the blue lights. Check this out. This is sweet. We got a right hand drive Honda NSX. Alright, sun's finally coming up. 600 LT from last week, well specced. Performante Spider with the Montana tags. All the forged carbon fibers, so sick on this car. This carbon hood looks so good with that race stripe. And you have the full carbon roof there with the scoop, looks incredible. Carbon fiber louvers, carbon fiber mirrors, carbon fiber side vents. Special part in the middle of the rear wing to take the heat from the center exhaust right there. The whole rear bumper is carbon fiber. And then the 458 Speciale, you don't see these too much, the naturally aspirated V8s. This is like cream of the crop, last edition. Looks so good. Classic Ferrari resale red, but it looks really good. Love that racing stripe. You also get the carbon, carbon fiber fender louvers. Huge carbon ceramic brakes. Three fantastic cars right here. Sometimes you get like a really tight draw. This extra carbon side blade here. Very cool. Got two Civic Type R's with the MG in between. Heard these cars are a blast to drive, and apparently, if you get the Honda Accord Sport, it's just a detuned Civic Type R engine. And with a quick tune, I think you can bump the horsepower to the same spec as these. This is the Alpha A Nissan GTR. 200 miles per hour. It's got a uh, four point. Racing, racing harness in here? Alpha A. 
GTR. Completely blacked out with that carbon fiber rear wing. Looks really good. Awesome wheels. Advan racing wheels with the uh, copper calipers. We got a Mustang with the lights. That way when they plow into a crowd, you can uh, turn the lights on and pretend like the cops are already there. And of course you have the ghost ship next to a regular lifted Ford. So you can really see how big this thing is. And this truck is massive. Next to a regular Ford, I assume F-150 that's lifted. This thing has like 48 inch tires or something absurd like that. Uh, I'm holding the GoPro at my head and that's as high as it is. It's clearly ridiculous, but you got the uh, underglow. Huge drop down. What, three point mounted in order to have a hitch on this thing? This thing is crazy. If you wanna check them out on Instagram. So just massive, huge stack in the back. Crazy. It's an F650. F650, super duty, size matters. I mean, just getting into that is crazy. The bottom step comes up to my waist. Ooh, let's go back over. So this is a right-hand drive Honda NSX. The steering wheel is actually on the other side. It isn't imported, it's truly a Honda. Super cool. You do not see too many of these. See the engine Honda. Normally it's an Acura NSX here, but uh, if you import them, you can actually find Honda NSXs. Love, love the copper brass monkey like my wheels that I plastic dipped. These are probably actually legitimate and actually look really nice. Very well spec. You get the carbon fiber air intake on the side. Very, very cool. This is wild. So this is a Lincoln Continental from, I don't even know when. Super clean S2000. These cars would be a blast to drive. I would love to get one of these. This one looks immaculate. Fantastic condition. Paint's perfect. The red interior looks good. S2000 carpeting. Very, very cool. And this, my friends, is how cold it is out here. We got some ice and frost on here. The old Viper with the double bubble roof. Crazy long front ends on these. Huge Mercedes emblem. Lighting up in the rear headrest. Gorgeous interior. Real question is would you rather have this or an M2 competition with a manual gearbox? I feel like this would be a great grand tour, but the M2 would probably be more fun. Now we got a new Supra with, uh, let's see, fake vent. Fake vents, fake vents, fake vents. Fake vents. It's a lot of fake vents, but uh, it looks pretty good. Double bubble roof. Got the DeLorean guy flexing with his door up. What are gonna hit? Nope. <laughs> E-Type V12, sounds good.
you heading out. Top mount exhaust is sick. <laughs> Very quiet cars though. You need an exhaust or something on them, but I think then you kill the value. Little right hand drive, Mini Cooper. Very cool. <laughs> Manual windows. It's like a smoke machine. It's so cold out here this morning. A little triumph. New Aston Martin Vantage. It looks very good. I love the yellow accents on these cars. There's some that have more of like an acid green, but beautiful. Huge grill. Yellow rear diffuser. Yellow stitched vantage lettering and stitching in the seats. Beautiful. I think these are like 500 horsepower V8 engines. They start around 150, so semi affordable, but uh, similar pricing to the M8 competition. But I think this is much better looking. So crazy. That thing is absurd. Imagine daily driving that. I got an MP412C hiding up here with the uh, GT3 RS. The awesome McLaren orange. Looking good. Oh, we got the license plate to let us know it is MP412C. Very cool GT3 RS and another one right there. Very nice color. Not, not a bad turnout at all for a, a 30 degree Saturday morning. We got the Halo guy leaving on his R1. Nice thing about a Tesla is you can just go in here, turn that ace th or turn the heat all the way up before you even get in. Remote close. Crank up the heat. Well, it was actually a pretty good day. I mean, it's definitely cleared out. I stayed here till 9.06. But uh, we got the fuzzy the fuzzy Hollister jacket. That's the way to go. It keeps you nice and warm, I'll tell you that. Uh, maybe from, you know, 2007, but it, it does, it's, it's extremely warm. I'll give them, I'll give them that. Uh, anyways, fantastic, fantastic turnout, so surprisingly. I mean, much more empty than like midsummer when like the whole back lots are full and everything, but fantastic turnout. 458 Speciale, that was a nice, a nice, uh, a nice spotting today. Naturally aspirated. The, that car, very well specced, very well specced. I'll give them that. 
Um, the 600 LT was back out, back at it, and uh, the Huracan Performante, fantastic cars. That, that trifecta right there, that would be a great garage to have. Man, 37 degrees out there still, 42 PSI, and uh, well, they were all 42. They're starting to warm up though a little bit, but it is frigid out there this morning. So one other thing I actually didn't realize is the, uh, the BMW M8 competition. Um, so I guess for a while it was just the uh, like 850i with like an M package that you could buy But the M8 the true like M8 is finally out. That's what was there today the M8 competition They start at like 140 some I think the one there was spec to around like 156 I believe the window sticker was in the in the video um, But those cars have 617 horsepower the twin turbo V8s and uh, I guess they do zero to 60 in around like 2.8 seconds. So pretty quick cars, pretty quick like giant grand touring cars because that car looks extremely comfortable to drive around in. Probably pretty similar to the, uh, the B7 that I've had in some of the vlogs. Uh, that car is surprisingly very, very quick. Also a twin turbo V8 in the B7. Uh, that car is tuned as well to 600 horsepower. Yeah, very cool cars, also very luxurious cars. The B7 is extremely, extremely comfortable. You get those like uh, perforated leather seats that heat and cool. Uh, I think the fronts have massage functionality in them. Lots of power under the hood. Great, I guess, kind of sleepers, but kind of not really. I don't know, but either way, very comfortable didn't realize that the m8 i don't i, I don't know why it just kind of escaped escaped my mind i i, I mean it, you kind of know that the twin turbo v8s but to be that quick have that much horsepower very well done well done but uh i, I just don't think it's for me you know and i don't think they come in a manual at all that's the other problem not quite as fun as probably like an m2 competition but you know, I'm not going to say I wouldn't want one. Anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed the content, please consider liking and subscribing. Until next time, thanks for watching.